In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the best way to clean your shoe shine brush once it becomes really gunked up with shoe polish. Now, one of the properties of a great brush is that it provides years, if not decades, of great use. All of our brushes here at Kirby Allison are of the highest quality and certainly a fit into that category. But every once in a while, you need to clean your brushes, uh, just because they accumulate residual polish uh, the more you use them. And that is actually the reason that we sell two different colors of brushes, uh, one with a black bristle and one with neutral bristle. The general idea there is that it just allows you to easily visually separate which brush you're using for your dark polishes and which brush you're using for your light polishes so that you don't uh, run the risk of any type of bleeding of dark polish onto a light shoe. But that said, every once in a while, it is necessary uh, to clean your brushes. You can see that this is one of our Wellington pig bristle brushes in neutral. Uh, I've been using this uh, with a darker polish, as you can see here, uh, and it's accumulated uh, quite a bit of polish on this bristle. So what is the best way to clean your brushes? Well, the easiest thing to do is to just take a clean chamois and to just buff the bristle against the chamois. That is going to help take off a little bit of that residual accumulation. But if you want to take it to the next level and clean it even more, maybe you're not satisfied with the result or there's still quite a bit of residual polish on this brush, a great product to use is actually Saphir's, uh, one of Saphir's newest products, and that is the Wax Softener. So this is 100% vegetable based. Uh, it's a plant-based product. It's very gentle. It's safe to use on your shoes. You can uh, use it in lieu of the, um, the Reno mat to kind of help clean, or if your mirror gloss has become too hard, you can use this to soften the waxes. Uh, but it's also really good uh, to spray on the bristles of your brushes just so that um, you can loosen those waxes off and then uh, clean it easier. So we're going to try this here. Just a few squirts here. All right, there we go. I'm going to put the cap back on this. And then again, just like before, you're going to take this and look how much more of the wax polish came off on that. That's really quite significant. So again, a, a nice testament to how effective this is. So I would just do that a few times. You know, this is quite a dirty chamois, so maybe it's not giving you the best idea, but I'll try to find a clean area. Well-used chamois also. So that's actually quite clean. So you could always do it more than once. Um, So it's a little bit oily. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually just a turpentine oil, kind of helps soften things up. But uh, that said, it's very effective uh, at cleaning. Uh, you'd want to clean, uh, you know, the handle and everything, just to ensure that it's not going to slip out. And actually, there was a little bit of polish here that that took off uh, quite well, also. So uh, there you go, the Saphir Wax Softener, great product to use. I do just want to take a moment to say that um, you know, you're not trying to completely clean your brush to make it look like it's new. Uh, the point is just to, to clear off any residual accumulated polish from the bristle. Uh, but you know, the moment you go to buff this, your shoe the next time with this brush, it's going to reaccumulate polish. So you know, don't go crazy with it, but every once in a while it is nice to clean your brushes. And a great way to do that is with the Saphir Wax Softener. One important disclaimer is to allow the solvents to completely evaporate and dry before you use the brush in a pair of shoes. And make sure they're all thoroughly cleaned off. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can actually strip some of your uh, shoe polish off of your shoes uh, and you won't be very happy with those results. All of the products that I've used in this video, the Saphir Wax Softener, the Wellington Pig Bristle Shoe Shine Brush, and all this beautiful Saphir Medal d'Or shoe polish is available exclusively at KirbyAllison.com where we have the largest collection of luxury garment care, luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories like this sovereign grade printed silk pocket square that I'm wearing today. Isn't that beautiful? So this is made from 100% English silk just for us in England, a hand rolled border, 
uh, absolutely beautiful pocket square that is um, really accessorizing nicely with the charcoal suit that I'm wearing today. If you have any questions about anything I discussed in this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I love getting back to those uh, as much as possible. If you like this video, give us the thumbs up. If you didn't like us, let us know in the comments section. Uh, and of course, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, uh, please do by clicking the red subscribe button and turning on your notifications so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. Uh, we certainly appreciate and are grateful for everyone that subscribes to our channel. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do at Kirby Allison. It's the best way to stay up to date about what's going on here in our world. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to take a brief moment to let everyone know that we have surpassed a really exciting milestone here at Kirby Allison. We just hit 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. It seems like only yesterday that we hit 100,000, we had our black tie live stream. Uh, and I just wanted to thank all of you for subscribing and for watching and for really supporting us uh, in the search for quality craftsmanship and tradition. To celebrate this huge occasion, I'm so humbled. We're gonna have another black tie live stream next week, so stay tuned for the details there as we release them uh, and you know what better occasion than to have a few nice live giveaways uh, to all of our uh, kind of trusty subscribers and viewers there uh, so on the live stream we're going to be giving a few things away and of course I want to know what your favorite videos have been so click the link and let us know in the comments section below your favorite videos and what you'd like to see us film more of